Hey guys, it's Heather from HMP Artistry here. I am making my um, perfume oils in the little roller ball containers today. Today I'm using my glass containers. Now the fragrance oil is what determines the color. My Cashmere Woods and Tonka Bean is a little bit of a yellower fragrance oil and that gives it that yellow color. Um, while this is my chamomile and lavender is clear, so it has a clear color. But always remember that any oils can stain clothing. So if you make anything like this to sell, put that on your label that it can stain clothing and to let the oil soak in fully before putting on any clothing or coming in contact with any clothing. Um, I have already measured out my base oil. And the next step is to add in my fragrance oil. This is the Black Raspberry Vanilla. And each recipe for each oil is a little bit different based on the um, percentage of fragrance oil to percentage of base oil because some fragrance oils can be used at a higher content than others. Making beauty products is really fun if you enjoyed chemistry in school because there is a lot of, well, that's basically what it is, is chemistry. A lot of weights and measures and percentages. I tell my daughter when she gets upset about math, she's like, I'll never use this. And I tell her, well, I didn't think I would either, but I do every single day. Now, when you are making any kind of bath or body product, you want to make sure that you have gloves, that everything is sterilized, that all of your containers have been cleaned in a bleach water solution, that everything has been sprayed down with 99% alcohol, because you do not want any kind of cross-contamination. You don't want any contamination at all in any bath or body product that you make. Even if you're making it for home, you don't want any kind of cross-contamination. I will be really happy when I run out of these gloves because they're bigger and I know I now have to get smaller gloves because I hate the fingers on these. But you want to make sure that you're mixing your base oils and your fragrance oil together really, really well. I use fractionated coconut oil. That way there's not a big difference in from one bottle to the next. And I try to keep everything ready to go and sterilized before I ever start anything. And I fill them up to right above the bend in the bottle but I want to leave room because I still have to fit the little rolly ball top in. And that's the beauty of using these little pipettes. And then I do a final way before I create my labels because I'm gonna make sure I have an exact weight of each of my bottles before I label them.
I don't like to waste any fragrance oils, so I do my best when I formulate all of my recipes to make exactly the amount that is needed so that nothing is wasted. And there we go. Perfect. Now when you're putting your tops on, that can be the tricky part because you want them to fit really tightly. So you're going to press and twist until they are fully on just like that. So you press and twist. You don't want to tilt your bottle too much because if you tilt your bottle you could lose your top and your oil could come out. And then my setup back here, see if you guys can see that, I have my um, lids and my little roller balls already lined up and waiting so that all I have to do when I put my tops on is to go ahead and cap them. And then once all of them are done, what I do is I take my alcohol spray, I spray all of the bottles and take a nice clean paper towel and clean off all of the bottles before I label them. Because if you don't, then there could be traces of oil on the bottle and it will come through on your label. And you never want that to happen. And if for any reason you come up with some kind of resistance, like I did on the last one, just use the palm of your hand to sort of ease it into place so that it sticks well. Because you want your lids on really tightly. You don't want any of that oil to leak out. These are really great when you use them because the oil lasts longer. There's no alcohol. It's just the fragrance oil and the base oils. And so it lasts longer than it would if it were just an alcoholed perfume because the alcohol moves, but the fragrance stays. And these last a bit longer. They're more subtle fragrance because you just put a smaller amount on and then you let it soak into your skin. But what soaks into your skin stays there. And the same goes for solid perfumes. What soaks in is what fragrances your skin and it makes it last longer. And you know that you're buying pure fragrance because you're not having the alcohol that takes up extra space that disperses the fragrance but then evaporates. I hope that makes sense. I think I feel like I'm talking in circles. Um, And then, like I said, what I will do is I have a empty bottle that I already know the weight of, and then I will weigh each individual bottle and subtract the weight on my scale before I weigh them. And it's just confirming the weight that I already know that they're going to be because I've done it before. And there you have it. There is the fragrance oil, and these are nice glass bottles. I do like my plastic, but the plastic is supposed to hold the same amount, but it doesn't. So I like the glass bottles better. And then, as you can see, I have to keep them separate before until I label them because they look exactly the same because there's no color. This is Heather from HMP Artistry wishing you luck, love, and a really great day, guys. Bye.